Hello everyone, welcome to Soulprint. Thank you very much for being here. This obviously is a not on schedule um, reading. It is Sunday afternoon, July 14th, just before 12 o'clock Mountain Time. So let's just take a moment, shall we? And kind of absorb um, what's happened and what's been going on. Before we get there though, if any of you are able to track down um, a, a, a clip of Ari Melbourne's show on Friday with Michael Steele. Michael Steele was amazing. I mean, he shredded um, the media who will not back off the Biden thing and Democrats who are behaving the way they're hate behaving. It was so interesting to me to see how all of a sudden the media was shifting and everybody was falling over themselves trying to explain that they were not one of those people who thought that, you know, Joe should step down. So obviously the, um, between the press conference and then the um, televised rally he did, Obviously, you know, he was focused, he was strong, he was clear, and all of a sudden everybody was like, oh crap. And the people who were screaming the loudest, I don't know, maybe they felt crawled under a rock or something, but by and large now, they just look disloyal. So I'm just saying that. But I was absolutely delighted to see that uh, the media was pulling back. Um, apparently, you know, Viewership was down dramatically. Uh, people were canceling their subscriptions all over the place. And you know what? That's a really good lesson for all of us, isn't it? Because it really is power to the people. And this is exactly what's going to happen on November 5th when it comes time to vote. It really is going to be about power to the people and those people who can stay focused and keep their eye on the prize and, you know, do everything they need to do to make sure that this coming election is, a, you know, a Democrat, um, oh my God, what wipeout, right? Where they're just going to slaughter her um, with the Republicans. I don't mean that literally, okay, especially these days. All right, so this is what happened. Trump got on the stage um, in a little town called, or a little city called Butler. Pennsylvania, I think. And uh, he was only a couple of minutes into his spiel and he was shot at. So the the bullet sort of got the um the top part of his okay right ear. And that's sort of what we know. We know that he is okay. We know that he, you know, he went into a shock response, which is part of the reason that he was obsessing about where his shoes were. And, and also part of the reason that he was doing that whole fist pump thing, right? I mean, we know him. And whenever he is threatened, and like I was saying, kind of being threatened with a bullet is a pretty big threat. He doubles down and he triples down. And so his whole thing was fight, fight, fight. That was like an automatic, like narcissistic, response okay so there's that i you know spirit i've asked spirit to sort of step in and give us some clarity on this so the first thing they want to say is that this was not staged okay this was literally a 20 year old um who took it upon himself to take these actions and you know over time we're going to find out what the heck triggered him it is and I, I don't mean for this to sound like cynical but it's a good thing um, that he's a registered Republican because if not the, the screaming that would be going on about the radical left and and the swamp and whatever and in fact Don Jr. started that before uh, this tutor's identity came out, it would be like wall to wall. And so that at least is sort of keeping things, I think, a little bit more balanced. Um, clearly, Trump is not hurt. I think that this is going to um, frighten him 
In fact, I know he's really frightened right now. He's really scared right now. He's going to become very sort of tentative about being in crowds, particularly being in crowds outside. And again, nothing unusual about that, right? I mean, I think that would be a normal response to those kinds of events. Um... Listen, you're going to be inundated with this replay and replay and replay of this the shooting and the hustling him into the big black van thing ad nauseum. I mean, like literally it's just on a bloody loop and it doesn't stop. Um, so I don't know right now. I mean, apparently um, President Biden is going to be doing another public address at some point this afternoon. Um, I think it's at 1.30 Eastern time, but don't quote me on that. And so where are we at? What does this do? What is this doing to the convention, which for goodness sake starts tomorrow? What does this do to the election and the way people are responding? So Spirit, we, we need some clarity on that, please. Um, and I'm just going to mention in passing that when um, Kathy Beal was here, a professional Aquarian, man, she nailed that this period of time between the 11th and through the convention was going to, there was going to be sudden shocking event. There was going to be um, sort of underlay of violence. I mean, she nailed it. In any case, I digress. Um, so Spirit, what can you tell us? All right, so. So right now, based on what I'm receiving energetically, it's telling me that actually Trump is, he's very full of bravado on the outside, but inside this has really, really shaken him up. Um, it, you're going to see that sort of bravado behavior on display far more than you're going to see the, the sort of timid or unfrightened behavior. He's going to do everything in his power to mask that fear and that shock of what happened to him. And so you can expect the rhetoric to hit whole new levels. All right. Um, as of right now, we know that both campaigns have suspended the advertising. That's probably not going to last much longer if it's not rever reverted by like Tuesday morning um I would be surprised so one of the things that um Republicans are going to have to start answering in the next couple of days is so yeah you, you still really pro-gun you really think people should have rifles that can shoot that many rounds that fast i mean people died all right people were seriously injured it just isn't about trump and his, his super right ear right this is about people who went to that rally expecting i don't know what to be entertained or to go rah rah whatever it was and one of them ain't coming home and the other two, I think it is, are still in really bad shape. So, unfortunately, or fortunately, or maybe not even any of those, maybe just as a result of, it looks like, you know, Trump kind of got away lucky. And... Again, if you go back to the, the video that I did with um, with Kathy that was released this past Tuesday, you, you'll notice that she said there is this period of time where Trump just has incredible luck. Now, it's running out, but, you know, you can kind of figure out that it's still under that umbrella. So as we're going forward into tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday and the convention, it now makes a lot more sense why everybody was saying it's chaotic. It, it, the, the, it, there's a lot going on and it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's starting to make sense now. So you can anticipate that. I mean, I think Trump's going to be there, but I have to say. I see him on like oversized screens. And I can't tell you. If that means that he is sheltered somewhere else and actually doesn't 
get on the stage or if I am just seeing, you know, how they have cameras um, trained on the person and then it feeds it to a bigger screen so more people can see clearly. I'm not sure what I'm seeing, but I'm, I'm seeing that. Um, you know, you're going to hear a lot of, um, you know, guns don't kill people. People do nonsense. Um, it's interesting that since um, Trump came down those stairs or that escalator, there have been two shootings, both against Republicans. The first one, don't forget, just shortly after Trump took office, that baseball game where Scalise was hurt. Um, so it's an interesting thing. You know, I, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword, right? Although they neither died. I mean, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is if you're going to surround yourself with that kind of um, vitriol and that kind of aggressive behavior and that kind of uh, we can just we can justify guns. It doesn't matter if you're going to stay in that space at some point energetically. It's going to come at you, and that appears to be sort of what is going on. There's going to be very, very tight screening to get into uh, the arena where the, the convention is, is being held. You're also going to see uh, in the next little while um, the, the, the Secret Service people being really sort of obviously around. Normally, they, they're kind of a step or two back. Um, it feels like they're just going to be a little bit closer. And it, interestingly, it feels almost like they're doing that to reassure Trump um, as opposed to a specific technical need for it. So, you know, where are we at? You can expect another, you know, 24 hours or whatever it is of, of this whole thing ad nauseum. And hopefully, um, you know, media will pivot um and you know they'll be talking about the convention etc cetera, etc cetera. and hopefully maybe media has learned its lesson and is not going to saturate our brain waves with nothing but trump um the focus needs to now turn to a very confident very vibrant biden okay and you know he is forever getting lost in the media shuffle um, so mm -hmm. there's that. Was this literally an assassination attempt? Yes. I'm hearing very clearly. Yes, it was. Um, I'm asking, is there going to be another one in the next couple of months? And I'm getting a no. Which again is good. We don't want violence happening in any political arena. It, it's just it's it that is sliding down a slippery slope really really fast. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It, it, don't be surprised if the way um, he is campaigning changes a little bit. Um, I really see this sort of, it, it's it's an interesting energy, right? Because he's like shaking on the inside and screaming on the outside. Um, and so that, again, it, it's typical of him, right? It would It would be good for all of us to um, take a deep breath, just relax. There's going to be floods of conspiracy theories and, um, you know, honestly, some really off-color comments being made about what he does or doesn't deserve. Um, you know, that's up to karma. And I think karma got its point across the other day, uh, yesterday, and it will continue to do so in the right way for the situation. So take a breath. Don't get sucked into sort of, because um, the bots are going crazy. So don't get sucked into that, right? I mean, stay a step removed. Um, and the final thing that I want to just mention, and I was watching 
uh, live resistance. She put out a sort of emergency video this morning. Um, and one of the things she was talking about, and I want to pass that on, is that apparently there are some YouTube GoFundMes or GoFundMes, however those work, but they have been sort of approved or sanctioned or supported by Donald Trump. Consider if you want to support uh, the victims, um, you know, the family who, who lost a member, uh, people who are in critical condition in hospitals, I would suggest that you look for one that is not attributed in any way to Trump because there just becomes a question of how much actually gets sent to the reason for the GoFundMe versus how much gets, you know, diverted into a campaign or some other thing. So this is a good day. It's, you know, Sunday afternoon. This is a good time to, you know, go outside, take a walk around, curl in with a, a bowl of popcorn and, a you know, a Netflix movie or something. Take a little bit of time and step back because the next little while is going to be crazy. And we all need to make sure that we keep our um, kind of a, adrenaline in control. All right. Um, because just getting wound up is not going to really help anything. And it's not good for you physically or mentally. I myself, as a Canadian removed from what goes on, I hope and pray that the day will soon come where the United States, the government, the people of the United States will figure out already that um, the kind of guns that are allowed to be on the streets um, without restriction is insane. No other country has these kinds of problems because there isn't such a proliferation of um, guns out there with virtually no restrictions. So. You know, I don't know. It, it This isn't going to change any Democrats' minds because they're already on the right track. But it does make you wonder if at some point some Republicans are going to say, okay, well, maybe there should at least be a few restrictions. I don't know. That's just my little Canadian perspective. Take care of yourself. Okay, this is a shocking event. And whether you saw it on television or, or whatever the situation is, it's it's a bit of a blow to the solar plexus. So just take some time. Step away, breathe deep, and um, I will see you again on Tuesday at, at sort of my normal time. Unless, again, something really wacky happens and for whatever reason I need to jump on later today or tomorrow on Monday. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Take good care of yourself. Be well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.